Hi, my name is Jared. My name is Dante. And my name is Aaron. We're automotive students at Randolph Technical High School, and we're excited to show the underclassmen on how to prepare for Nazi. Today, we're going to show you how to dismount, mount, and balance. My name is Jared. I'm an automotive student at Randolph Technical High School, and today I'm going to show you how to take a tire off its rim. And the first thing you should do when you start is make sure you got your safeties on, your jumpsuit, and your steel toes. So I'm going to show you. Come on, let's go. This is a wheelway hammer, people. And this is our tire that we're going to use today. And the first thing you got to do is make sure there's no wheel weights on the back and the front of the tire. And it seems like we have a wheel weight right here. So all I'm going to do is pop it off just like this. Easy as that. And you should not, should not reuse the wheel, the wheel weights, okay? If it's already been used. So just toss it like that and pretty much in. Next, we're gonna put this up on top, and we're gonna take the valve core remover <laughs> and take the valve stem out, just like this, righty tidy, lefty loosey, and make sure you put your fingers right here so the the valve stem doesn't like fly out from all the pressure. Then we got the air out. We're gonna go break the beat. Ah. Just make sure everything is straight and lined up together. And just about show. Lost a little bit of control there, but it's all good though. Alrighty. Now that the, the bead is broken, we're gonna loop it up. And make sure like everything, everything like, you know, goes smoothly without breaking the bead. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, let's loop it up. Loop it up! Just like so, all around the bead. Do the front. All right. Next, we're gonna put the tire back on the tire machine, just like so. Take this over, put this cone right here. The cone is for centering the tire. Make sure everything just goes smoothly easy. So now that it's centered, lock it in place. Just like so. Now we press it back up. Bring that back over. Now that the air is out, the bead is broken, and I looped it up. We're gonna bring over the head, take off the tire off the rim, and I'm gonna adjust the head to fit snug against the rim so we can take off the tire. I'm gonna lock it right here, and I'm gonna flip this switch right here. So like the duck bill, I call this the duck bill right here, to go underneath the bead of the lip right of the tire and pull it up over the rim. Just like that right here. I'm gonna take this tire iron, I'm gonna stick it right under here, just like that. I'm gonna rotate the pedal, 
Have both hands on the tire iron when you take this off. Very important. Easy like that. Cut it. The top of the tire is taking off the rim. I'm gonna take off the bottom. So I'm gonna lift this up right here. I'm gonna flip this switch down. I'm gonna pull this over the duck bill. The tire over the duck bill. I'm gonna pull that up just like that. Take the tire iron again. Put this right under here again. Use both hands, hold it down tightly. There we go. Easy as that. Now I'm gonna take the head back up. Put the tire iron back. Now that the tire is off the rim, I'm gonna check the bead of the tire, make sure there's no tears or rips. And so far, it looks like it's a perfect tire. All good. And make sure there's no rust around the inside of the bead of the tire or on the, the rim. All good. And this tire is a 16 inch, I believe. And this is 16 inch rim, so they fit perfectly, they're all good. So I'm gonna hand it over to Dante. My name is Dante. I'm also an automotive student at Randolph Technical High School. Today I'm gonna show y'all how to mount the tire back onto the rim. Now before you start, make sure you're dressing your correct PPE, which is personal protective equipment, which is steel toe boots, coveralls, and safety glasses. Always on your eyes. Let's go. Now before you start, make sure you lubricate the tire to make our job much easier. You wanna lubricate the bead of the tire so it's nice and smooth. Make our job so much easier. Turn it around, to the other side as well. Our tire is now lubricated. I'll put it onto the tire machine so we can remelt the tire back to the room. I'll swing this around here by pressing on this pedal. Now, pay attention. When remounting the tire, make sure this part of the bead of the tire is under this part. Press down on it, and I'll press the rotate pedal. As you can see, the bottom bead of the tire is on the rim. Same thing with the top bead. Do the same thing. Put some weight on it. To make the job much easier, swing this around. Swing this down. Not too much. Press rotate. Tire is mounted onto the rim. I will now put the air into the tire. I will now put the correct amount of air pressure into the tire, which is 28 psi. Warning: Do not put your hands right here. Be clear of the lip of the rim and the bead of the tire, because if the air pressure is going in, it could and possibly will amputate one of your fingers or even more. So do not put your hands right here. Be clear of it. I will now put the correct amount of air pressure into the tire. I'm placing this on here. Now press on this pedal. See, that's why it's important to keep your hands clear of the lip of the rim and the bead of the tire. Now, I will now put the correct amount of air pressure into the tire, which is 28 PSI. By pressing on this pedal. Air pressure is now at 30 PSI, which is where I will take the valve core remover and the valve core. Place it like this, as so, and place it in the valve stem. You want to be quick with it so you won't let too much tire pressure out of the tire. I will now check my tire pressure. Is that 27 PSI? It's now at 20 PSI. Our tire is mounted. 
and fill with air. Now I'm gonna swing it over to my partner, Aaron. He's gonna show y'all how to balance the tire. Hi, my name is Aaron Bass. I'm in the automobile. Today I'm gonna show you how you balance the tire. This right here is called a center cone. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna put it on. There. And then next, I'm going to put right, the tire. Right now I'm pulling a rim clamp. The purpose of me pulling a rim clamp is so I can tighten the tire so it won't fall off. So I can get a perfect measurement. So right now, I'm going to keep on tightening until you can't tighten no more. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Don't get, don't get startled with the knob noise. That happens sometimes. Alright, right now, I'm going to use the Balance their arms so we can get some measurements. You want to put one right about here. You go on the other side, you put this one right under here, like this. See? Come on, line up so you get good measurements. Push down on the brake. And as you look right there, you got your measurements. Easy as that. Alright, what we're going to do now is we're going to pull down the hood. And the hood is here for safety, so while it's balancing, nothing can fly up and hit you in the face because we don't need that to happen here. So, we're going to wait for the our measurements. Here we go right now. We got 0 0.50 and a 1.75. So, now we're going to pull up the hood. All right, right now, what we have here is the wheel weight hammer. But we're going to go over here. See, right now, we need a 0.50 and a 1.75. So, I'm going to go down here and find me a 0.50 and a 0.75. So, Right here, you see the green arrow? You want to line it up from right here. You got to line it up. Get it nice and lined up. Right there. And you have to put the wheel weight on it. And now you want to put on the wheel weight. You want to make sure the wheel weight is lined up with the rim. As you can see right here, it's the arrow. And it's basically the same thing with the other side. So what I'm going to do right now with hammer it on. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. Alright, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna zero out the other side. What I'm gonna do is keep turning the tire to it turn green on the screen. So keep going right there. And now I'm gonna put the wheel weight on the other side. Alright, right now I'm gonna put on the wheel weight. As you can see right now, I'm using the wheel weight hammer so I can make sure it's lined up so that the wheel weight can go on correctly. So right now I'm gonna just hammer it on. And make sure you be careful with your fingers because you don't want to get your fingers hit in there with that because it's going to hurt like crazy. Easy as that. Now that I got both of the wheel weights on, I'm going to pull down the hood. And I'm going to get my measurements, my final measurements. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. It's not that hard. Alright, now that zero, we finished here. We balanced it, we got zero. Easy as that, yo. Now that we dismounted, mailed it, and balanced. I hope y'all learned something today. We're now finished with our video and we'll see y'all later.